Hello everyone, I'm Dresden and welcome back to another episode of Driving Until Destroyed where today we're going to be testing out three more vehicles to see how they do on the very old map, the Fail Race Test Track. I, I swear every time I load into this map, there's more textures missing. Um, we're starting off with this, the 8x8 utility truck off-road. Um, it has 487 horsepower and weighs... 16,000 kilos, so 16 metric tons. Like 13 or 14 probably standard tons, quick math wise. Um, yeah, it's very big, very heavy. And probably not going to last very long. Which is okay. It's whatever, it is what it is. Um, I guess we would just have to wait and see. So, it's been a while since I've recorded one of these, actually. And I've got some fun vehicles lined up that I think... We'll be alright. I don't know. I know we've ran a version of one of them already. And then one of them is actually my buddy's, one of his cars. Um, he, oh, that was a bad hit. Ow. Still okay though, just bodywork mainly in that rear right. Actually, the entire rear axle looks a little rough. Um, he actually commented on one of the first videos of this series and said that I should run with his truck. And so that's what we're gonna do. Um, at least not his truck in particular. Generally the same one. The same generation of truck, anyway. Um, the camera on the mod is a little bit silly. But that's okay. Because we're gonna just go with it. I can't even, like, zoom out the camera for some reason with the mod. And I don't know why. Because, like, I can zoom this out and in. With the mod, I can't. And it, it was... I'll just talk about it more later when we get to it. Um, this is not very fast, so I'm worried about this big jump here. Um, the engine is in the front. Of course it is. Obviously it is. Um, which, I mean, may prove a problem on this jump, because we got to be going about 45 miles an hour to clear this. Somewhere between 45 and 50. And uh, we're going 32. So, uh, oh... Okay. We still have drive. We do still move. Okay. Let's lock the diffs in the transfer case. Come on. Seriously? <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, what if I make it only rear wheel drive? No. It just doesn't have the power to get up this hill. Not even a mile. It's so sad. But, I mean, it is what it is. We got 1,527.7 yards. And... Let's see. Uh, I forgot how to do it. Hold up. How do I do this? Uh oh. I hit a button. Oh, there we go. It's a big truck, but also a broken truck. Okay, well, hopefully the next one can do at least a little bit better. Hopefully. Alrighty, and next up is this the 2022 toyota tacoma off-road um yeah i mean this is my buddy aiden's truck he has one of these he has a 2018 he just bought it a few days ago and it looks really cool um this is white i tried to make this one white it did not work um and this is the one that the camera is a little bit rough on um actually quite a bit rough on like is this this is the camera trying to zoom in and out it does nothing i cannot adjust it if i go to a different camera angle i got this one i got this one i got this one i got uh, this and that so we're just gonna have to kind of deal with the camera it is what it is uh this has 259 horsepower Weighs 2,380 kilos. 
and it is going. It's going to go. So, my buddy Aiden has actually owned two of these. He has an older one. I'm not quite positive the year, but it's the generation before this one. And then he just bought a few days ago. It was like four or five days ago, I think. Uh, maybe a week ago. I don't think so, though. Uh, he just bought a 2018 that's white. It's a TRD off-road with TRD Pro things on it that the last owner put on it. And it's really nice. Uh-oh. Unlike this one currently. Youchers. Yowza. Um, as for this mod, as you can tell, it's not the best. This was this guy's first mod. He decided to do a vehicle instead of anything else. And he had no idea how to mod. And I think this has been out for a hot minute. And it looks better than it did in some of the pictures. But it's not great. Um, obviously. And he got a lot of criticism in the, uh, replies to the post about how he chose this to be his first mod. And, uh, instead of something easier. And he didn't follow any tutorials or anything. And he just complained about in the comments about how he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, a lot of criticism for that. I feel a little sorry for the guy, but at the same time, like, pick something easier. But it still looks good. It, it looks good from free camera and everything, just not from this camera angle. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it drives, and that's all that really matters. Now, I don't know if we're going to clear this anymore. Actually, we're going to overheat. Maybe they didn't actually set up a radiator in this thing. 27 miles an hour over the jump. Ow. Can we get out? Okay. Let's lock the diff. Uh, we actually cannot do that. But there is a low-range gearbox. One tire fire. Uh-huh. Let's get a run-up. We're gonna overheat real bad. Real, real bad. Oh. Yeah, we're not even getting out of this. Well. We went about the same distance as the other truck. I'm gonna put down, like, the same thing. Minus two yards, I think. Because it did go less distance. Um, that's the other one. Yeah, I mean, that first hit really took it out, but also, it's just a nightmare to drive. Just, period. It's just awful to drive. Um, nice looking mod, but when it comes to actual practicality, not great. Um, yeah, so Aiden, your truck did not do very well. If that first jump, if it took it a little better... And that's probably my fault, but the camera is just not really it. So, that's what we get from this. Uh, there are different versions of this truck that I could also run. If Aiden, if you want to see more versions of this truck. There's like a squatted version and all kinds of stuff. Uh, let me know. But yeah, we'll do 1,525.7 yards. Two yards less than the 8x8 truck. Now on to the third and final vehicle for this episode. And finally, we have this with another funny camera angle, apparently. This is the Dodge Ram TRX Interceptor. Well, my voice did not like that. Um, <clears throat> This is just the Dodge Ram TRX, but a police version. It's got a big bash bar. Probably a little bit stronger, a little more reinforced. Very loud still. Uh, we have ran the TRX before, but this is just the police interceptor version. Has 700 and, oh, oh, turn, please. 703 horsepower and weighs 2,500 kilos. Now, we're having the same problem with this that we did with the other TRX, but a little worse in the fact that the steering is not actually strong enough to steer the vehicle. Um, I don't really know if we had that problem too bad in the normal TRX, but in this one we definitely do. Oh, same jump. Ah, that's a problem. We are rear wheel drive, so it's not, oh, by good to buy a wheel. Not the worst problem in the world, and the steering might honestly perform a little better now. But, yeah, eh, eh, yeah, 
So let's hope that we can get further than the past two vehicles and not die in the same spot. Because that would just be embarrassing. For all three vehicles, really. Oh, the handling is not great. It, really not great. Also, the suspension does have a glitch in the back. You can see it whenever it compresses. It launches out. I don't really know why. It did that before. It did that on the downhill madness as well. When we ran the TRX. It's just what it is. Um, okay. We are probably going to clear this. But we landed though. Okay, okay. It could have been worse. Engine damaged, oil pan damaged. I think we straightened out our steering though. Um, and I did not see radiator damage. I don't know if that is a thing that's possible in this mod. Hey, look! There's our other wheel. Look at that. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's a thing that's particular. Oh, wait. Radiator leaking, bottom left. It just broke. Um, so we are going to start overheating. However, we have a new Victor for this episode anyway. This has made it the furthest. Front drive shaft broken. That's okay. We don't need it. We've been rear wheel drive this whole time. We will just stick with the rear wheel drive. Um, let's cool off the engine, hopefully. Does this mod support that? Yes. It looks like it might have gone down a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's like a V8 making 703 horsepower, and it's obviously running hot because it's obviously very loud, and that usually means that they run hot when they're very loud. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to make it. I, I think we'll make it a lap. Don't know if we'll make it much further than a lap, though. Because we are overheating, we are... Uh, we are dying. There we go. Our temperature gauge just turned orange in the bottom right. But that is a lap. That is one point... It says 1.7 miles. That's pretty close to what it actually is. So I think we will leave it there. Trying to be a little lighter on the throttle. If I can be. Okay, well, maybe not. Um, we probably will make it two miles here. Will we make it to this jump? Oil is overheating. That's a problem. That's a big problem, actually. Uh, will we clear the jump? We'll make it to it. Will we clear it? No. Oh. That's all she wrote, folks. Rear drive shaft has broken. We are not moving. Jeez. Yeah, this thing took some hits. But it made it a lap. It did make it a lap, so that's pretty good. We made it two miles, exactly. Um, yeah, she's a little beaten up and a little bruised, and uh, that tub is showing. And it's missing a wheel, but we did make it decently far. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and that bell icon down below to get notified of when I upload. Aiden, I don't know if you'll be happy with your truck's performance. I feel like if this jump, this first one here, went a little better, it probably would have done better. But the mod that I found wasn't great, so if I can find a better mod, I will probably run it again. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Check out the podcast, merch, second channel, all that linked in the description, and the new Minecraft series that I'm doing on this channel. So you just go to the channel page and you'll find it. It's a SMP that I'm paying for the server, and it's going pretty well. So I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, this has been Dresden on Driving Until Destroyed on the Fair Race Test Track. And goodbye.